So what's better for technical keyboard exercises, Bach inventions or Hannon exercises? The debate over the most effective method for developing technique will never end. Hundreds, if not thousands, of keyboard exercises have been written over the years, from simple to highly complex. We won't get into all of that. The only part of that lengthy discussion I would like to talk about today is whether it is better to use Bach inventions or Hannon to develop technique. Let's look at Bach's invention one versus Hannon exercise number seven. Bach composed inventions around 1720. That's long before Hannon was born. He was born in, I think, in 1819. The Hannon exercise number seven only uses the simple version of Bach's invention one. Bach invention number one starts with a simple seven note motif, C, D, E, F, D, E, C, that Bach creatively transforms throughout the piece. It's played starting on, on different degrees of the same key and in various other keys. And then he plays it upside down, backwards, plus it's played an equal amount of times in both hands. And fragments of the motif are used throughout the piece and played at different speeds. This invention isn't just about technical practice. It's a lesson in musical development, harmony, and counterpoint. Here's why I prefer inventions over Hannon. The inventions are musical, while Hannon exercises are repetitive and non-musical. Hannon's exercises often feel like mechanical drills, focusing on finger strength and dexterity, but causes most students to go into autopilot mentally. Bach Inventions, on the other hand, engages the player musically from the outset. The motif isn't just repeated, it evolves, challenging the student to think musically rather than having to tune out mentally due to too much repetition. Also, the inventions use the black and white keys, while Hannon uses only the white keys for the majority of his exercises. Bach inventions explore the full range of the keyboard, introducing sharps and flats, which add complexity and depth to the learning process. This approach ensures that the students aren't just developing finger strength, but also learning to navigate the keyboard's entire geography. So, should you burn your hand in books? Not so fast. Put away the matches. If you insist on doing the hand in exercises, if you can maintain a intense focus, perhaps by doing the hand in exercises in different keys and varying the rhythm or dynamics, that, or perhaps making them staccato, you know, that might work. I like to use them uh, for specific weaknesses. Say you have trouble playing the descending thirds in Chopin's Opus 9, number 3, at the end of the nocturne. Uh, Hannon's exercise number 52, which has you doing thirds in uh, all of the most used keys, would help with that specific weakness. In my opinion, uh, the clear winner for developing technique musically is Bach Inventions. If you decide to get the Inventions, make sure to get a good edition like uh, the Willard Palmer editions. Uh, Palmer's uh, annotations and insights, such as editorial suggestions, fingering, and small images above the ornaments so that you instantly know how they're supposed to be played, are really helpful. However, the uh, Henley uh, Urtext editions are the way to go if you're looking for an unedited version. Bach inventions challenge not just your fingers, but your heart and mind. By engaging with these pieces, you're not only improving your technique, but also your ability to interpret and feel music. Okay, I better get back to practicing those inventions as my April 4th deadline for relearning them all is not that far away. See you in the next video.